All right, Shalom. We'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, um, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And just something I was uh, thinking about while I was at work. Um, when I was younger, if, um, for instance, I went somewhere to go stay with, with other people, maybe aunt, uncles, you know, or, or with friends or whatever, or if I went somewhere with my mother and father, well, mainly my mother, because I just knew better when my dad was there, but uh, for the most part, you know, we wasn't bad children, we didn't act out and stuff, you know, but, you know, there's a saying, mind your manners, okay, and I thought about that, and I was like, oh, okay, be mindful, okay, mind your manners, all right, be mindful, of what? Your manners. Okay, what are your manners? And I, I looked it up, and this is uh, more than likely just going to be a quick hit. Okay. And um, I looked the word manners up. As a matter of fact, let me grab my reading glasses. All right. And this is the um, definition of manners. Manurism. All right, let me find it again. Manner. All right, manner. All right, uh, it says way of doing. Okay, the way of doing. The way of your actions. Okay, be mindful of your actions. Okay, and of, mind your manners. So let me read a little more of this definition. It says way of doing, being done, or happening. Mode of action. Okay. Uh, characteristic or customary way of doing. Okay. The prevailing customs, ways of living, and the like of people, class, etc. Okay. Ways of behaving with reference to polite standards. Okay, good or polite ways of behaving. So the way that you be behave, okay, but in a a polite or a good way. Now, what is the good way? Okay, following what thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me read a little more. It says um, a person's outward bearing. Way of addressing or treating others. Okay. And the definition is pretty long. Okay. Um, I'm just uh, looking at a couple. A couple of more because there's like 14 different uh, definitions. Bear with me, Baba Kusha. Um, uh, bearing all or refer to one's outward aspect or behavior. Okay, so the way that you behave. Okay. So, of course, I got the scripture pulled up. So, when someone, you know, that term... Mind your manners, okay? Be mindful of the way that you behave. How are we to behave, all right? And the scriptures answer that. So let me start here in Second um, Peter, the third chapter. It says, Second uh, Peter 3 and 10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, okay? In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works 
What are the works that are taking place on this earth? Okay. Wicked works. Why? Because Job 9 and 24 states that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. As a matter of fact, let me read the whole scripture. Let me get right to it. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's wicked, man. Okay? The ultimate judge is Yahweh, his son. Okay? And, and the prophets, the apostles, okay? The, the you know, all of the 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 people throughout all of the Israel, the Israelites, man. Okay? Let me just get straight to it. The Israelites. All right? And that's blasphemy to change uh to cover the, the faces or to destroy, you know, what is known as iconoclasm, all right? Destroy the, the real images, the way that the Heavenly Father looks, his son, all right? And, and character assassination, man, okay? Saying that the, the, the Heavenly Father is all love, his son is all love. But to, to say that the Lord is a so-called white man, up in the clouds with a bunch of little naked babies, all right, and the angels are naked and all that, man, that's all blasphemy, man, okay? So it says, it, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, okay? It's the wicked that's in rulership, okay? And the wicked are in rulership because the, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? So, how is he going to rule? He's going to rule contrary to righteousness. Okay? And it's evident because look at the laws and the standards that are set up in this place. Alright? The laws and standards that are set up in this place, alright, are contrary to righteousness. Okay, they go against what is written in this book. All right. So let me go back to Second Peter. Two. Uh, Second Peter three and um, where I left off in uh, verse ten, it says the earth also, and the works that that Salakia and the works that are therein. Okay, so the works, the behaviors. Of the people, the majority of the people, okay? Because the elects won't be carrying themselves when we get to uh, verse 11, okay? The elect is not going to be carrying themselves uh, in a manner that is contrary to righteousness, okay? They're going to be, be being righteous. To the best of their ability. Okay. They're not going to be going against. Uh, the, the righteousness of the heavenly father. Okay. As the, the, the rest of the people. Of this world. Okay. Or, or the earth. Are. Okay. It says the earth also. And the works that are therein. The behavior. Okay. The way people are carrying themselves, the things that they're doing, okay, that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then, okay, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons, okay, what type of behavior, okay, remember we just went through the definition of manner or manners, okay. The way that you carry yourself, okay? The way that you behave, all right? It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, okay? Looking for, okay? These, looking for you're doing something. Hasting, you're doing something. 
Okay? These are action words. Okay? These are verbs. It says, what, per what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, or the heavenly Father, Yah, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay? What manner of persons are we to be in our holy conversation? Trying to do what thus says Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of our ability. Okay? Not doing as the people of this world are doing. Okay? The scripture says, uh, be not conformed. Matter of fact, let me grab that right quick. The book of Romans. Okay, this is Romans 12. And, uh, Verse 1, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Heavenly Father, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed or with the form, okay, with the form, and be not conformed to this world. The Most High is, is getting ready. This second Peter just explained what's getting ready to happen to this world and the conversation that is in it. It's going to melt with fervent heat. Now, that doesn't mean that the earth is going to be the whole, the earth is going to be destroyed. Like, you know, we always say the death star, you know. The earth abided forever, as the scripture says, okay. Your will be done as it is in heaven, uh, you know. The Lord's will is going to be, well, it's always been everything that's happening and is always happening has been the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? But he's going to send his son, okay, Yahweh Shai, to clean up this mess, okay? It says, um, and be not, back in Romans 12 and 2, and be not conformed to this world. Okay, but be ye transformed. All right, so we're supposed to be transformed. Like you see the transformers, okay? Change from one way of behaving to another way of behaving. Which is the way that, what, the way that we're supposed to behave is according to what is acceptable to the most high. Okay? It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, okay? Because your mind tells your body what to do. It's the control center, okay? Like that movie, um, I think the name of it is Dave with Eddie Murphy and the little people was inside his head running him. I never watched the whole movie. I just kind of like saw a little bit of it. it was lame, so I didn't watch it. But it all starts in your mind, man. Your mind is the control center, okay? It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Heavenly Father, Okay? So mind your manners. We are to mind our manners. All right. Be mindful. Okay. Of the way that we carry ourselves. Of the, of the way that we do things. Okay. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And I, I tried to explain it to the best of my ability. So Lord willing, it was edifying and, under, you know, it was clear. Okay. And with that, I'm going to uh, close out. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom. Look at that. 144.